Howdy y'all. We're gonna be going over these banners today. As y'all saw in a future video, let's get to it. Alrighty, so these banners, I do have them put up. This one is actually hanging just on a copper wire that I salvaged a long time ago. This wire I've probably been saving for well over 10 years. I've been using it for other oddball projects, just holding things together, wrapping things up, keeping them nice and tight. It's a nice thick wire. I do have it, if y'all can see, on one of my lanterns. So I just have it hooked onto the bracket that holds the lantern to the wall. It's wrapped around the other side, so this side is a support, and it's just holding there. It's not the most elegant in the world, but it works. I'm not here to punch a bunch of holes that I know I'll be patching up later. And yeah, when there's a better spot for it, it will go there. But for right now, this is a perfect spot. I was gonna have the Declaration of Independence replica put here in a frame, but I, I have this and it just, it looks like it really fits. So in the background of the videos, we have Lion, which is on my family's family crest and coat of arms. And for all y'all that are into Game of Thrones, which I believe this is from, again, as I stated in that video, I'm not too sure. It says, hear me roar on the bottom. I'm assuming that's Game of Thrones. And if you're a Harry Potter's fan, Team Gryffindor, there we go. If you have one of these up, 10 points for Team Gryffindor and everyone else minus 10. So, uh, slightly teasing, but not really at the same time. Anywho, it's gonna be in the background of the videos for this channel, as well as the other channels. It's just something really cool having the background. I will be showing where I put the other two right now. A shout out and a very large thank you to my very best friend for putting this banner on top of these two speakers from the 1950s. The banner looks amazing. She was helping me trying to find placement for the banner. She looked at the speaker and said, hey, why doesn't it go here? And she put it there and it looks amazing. Also, this banner, which is my favorite banner of the three medieval banners, I put it on top of the American flag and it looks fantastic. I know American flags and medieval banners don't exactly go together, but it does look amazing. It just looks super cool, looks awesome. It just looks fantastic. So that's the placement of all the banners that bought a little while ago, probably a couple months ago. And I'm very happy with the placement. They might change in the near future, but for right now, they're they're looking really good. I've gotten attached to where they are from the one that's hanging on the door with the American flag and the one where my best friend put it. I just, I don't want to move it. And this one for the background of the videos, it looks really cool. And it just, it fits, it, it works great. I'm very happy with all of them. They're holding up great because I'm not trying to tear them up. I haven't done anything to really tear them up yet. Hope that don't happen. But again, they were from Timu. They were $2.50, few bucks each. So they're all great where they are. I'm happy with it. And if y'all do that, then I recommend it. It looks great. It's not expensive. And it really sets a good mood for a historical room. So that's today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one.